Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another one. Um, I'm quite excited about this. This is a Channel First brand new brewery to me. This is a brewery based in Northumberland, and it's a farmhouse brewery. And we're going to rig and furrow. And we've got a barrel-aged blended stout clocking in at 8%, and it is a bottle of their Giant Owl. Super smashing great. Looks cracking that. Nothing on the back. Um, I shall, I've brought up some info about this beer. It says it's a careful blend of two beers aged in Pinot Noir barrels with a younger stout we brewed and blended specially to celebrate reaching our 300th goal. It's rich, satisf satisfying beer. Um, it's not giving away anything of anything else about it, but you know, <laughs> I'm going to keep showing this. There you go. <laughs> Let's crack it open, shall we? Like you do. It's highly recommended to me from uh, the Bear and Bottle bottle shop. So thank you for recommending this one. It caught me eye. It smells wonderful. You smell the barrel, basically. You smell a vineness, a sweetness, a sapness. It smells beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, it just smells aged so well. It, it's 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 a smell which is quite hard to describe. You need to get this beer to pick that that vine barrel aged wine note on it it's absolutely wonderful it is so let's pour it out like i do nice and careful there we go there she is stick that there um over the next few months maybe this year you will uh, find uh, me doing a lot more beers from this brewery. Um, even though I haven't tried this one, I know I'll be reviewing more from them. Um, just by the smell of this beer, it's, you know, absolutely wonderful. That wood soaked. Oh. Get the wine, you get the grape, you get the stouty elements. All together, I would say there's a hint of vanilla to it as well. Oh, it smells very, very oaky. It smells beautiful. I can't wait. I'm going in. Cheers. There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on for me. When you first drink it, you get, you know, the vineness, the grape. Definitely. Straight away. It's hit with a little bit of acidicness as well for me. Then you get the aged feel. The oaky aged feel to this beer. And I suppose it's that agedness for me. It's like a, a bridge between the vineness and the beery elements because it's blending them two worlds together very, very well for me. On the back end, you get the acidicness. There's an acidicness on the back end. I'm going again. I'm picking up the chocolate. It just comes in now. Then you get in a delicate hint of berryness, of fruitness there. It could be 
I mean, it could be raspberry in a way, but I'm not too sure. There's a fruitness there to it, but it's a very delicate no. Um, with beers like this, for me, the first sip, you can't really, you can't really pick everything out because your palate is not there, you, you, your mouth is not there. You need to drink further, further into the beer to start appreciate the different elements coming out in it. I'm going again. Go on. The alcohol is non-existent. I think the alcohol is completely hidden by all these elements going on in this beer. Because I'm picking up more vanilla now. It's like every mouthfeel to this beer, I'm picking other little elements out. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, it's showing different characters. It's it's, it's showing a hint of complexity for me. Um, overall, what do I think? Overall, I mean, it's a beautiful tasting beer. It really is. It is an absolutely beautiful tasting beer. And you, you just pick out different stuff. It's, it's a sipping beer, definitely. Um, I mean, I'm getting a slight dryness now on the back end, which I did have when I first drank it. So it, it changes. And it changes in such a way that, you know, you're just picking out dark fruits here now and hints of, you know, a woody feel to it. It's it's all changing with every mouthfeel, which I absolutely love. I do. And I love beers like this. Would I buy this one again, boys and girls? Most certainly. Most certainly. Um... What criticism have I have? The only criticism is the mouthfeel for me is slightly it's it's slightly rough. It's it could be smoother for me. Um but overall the cat's making farting noises up there. I'm in my element here, I've got a really good beer and you're spoiling it. <laughs> Overall, boys and girls, I have to say, my first beer from this lot, and I am thoroughly enjoying this, and there's going to be more coming up. Rig and Furrow, the Giant Owl, um, this is a barrel-aged blended stout at 8%. It's really good. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. See all of you again on another beer review. Cheers, everyone.